just we're a new generation um, we have technology we have just everything is just different now so I just think people's state of mind is turning different as well he wanted freedom he wanted equality which we have in many aspects but these black on black crimes these wars in the streets I don't think that's what he asked for or wanted for okay cool we have some here for you Mark, M A R K Johnson, J O H N S O N. I think that. Uh, you can't ignore the fact that uh, municipalities have cut back on uh, law enforcement a great deal, in San, San Jose in particular. And I think that violence is uh, uh, touches people more, and for a lot of people it's a, it's a solution that otherwise they wouldn't have been aware of. But, you know, you go on YouTube and people put uh, videos up that... Uh, Celebrate violence, and uh, you know, and sometimes violence is a violence is a political act. Sometimes violence is a uh, stupid criminal act. Some, it's 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 again shades of gray. So I think um, I think it's a complex picture and a complex tapestry that we live in. But I uh, I also am hopeful that uh, with the improving uh, uh, economy, with some of the uh, changes that are being made socially that you know we'll have a better a better world here in San Jose in 10 years I hope Procter and Gamble posts a uh, Cheerios commercial online of an interracial family and uh, they had to turn off comments because the uh, offensive vile racist comments that were filling up the YouTube channel racism is uh, pervasive prevalent and a lot of people would like to think that uh, you know everything's rosy but you know Dr. King I remember you know I'm 60 years old and I have very strong memories of you know Dr. King uh, but I'm very mindful of the fact that the, the March on Washington uh, you know didn't solve a lot of things because there's a lot of people with uh, complete antipathy towards living together and being living in harmony and so I think the best thing that we can do is try to hope that social media and the ability to communicate will let some of the more calmer and rational voices speak louder we need to see more uh, community interaction as a whole as opposed to being uh, divisive and split among uh, factions. There's going to be people that we don't appreciate, we don't like, and we don't agree with, but we have to live with them. So, you know, Dr. King made that message very eloquently that, uh, you know, and, and he had a dream, and that dream is only weakly fulfilled, but that's not due from pa one of uh, desire or passion or commitment of people. It's due to the fact that we are blessed with a lot of riches and a lot of freedoms and that allows a lot of people to still have uh, views that are an antithetical to 
you know, human social interaction. And so I think, you know, it's, I, I, when I was studying political, political science, I remember vividly a book called The Irony of Democracy. And one of the things they found was that if you actually let everybody in the country vote, a majority of them would overturn the Bill of Rights. And that's because we have a large number of people that are, you know, ignorant, if I can be so bold as to say, and, and we have a lot of people who, uh, because this country allows you to have so many freedoms, you can be free to hold a lot of, a lot of uh, anti-social views. And so it's a, it's a complex thing. And I think Dr. King said, you know, the way we overcome that is that we educate, we communicate, and we uh, hopefully change the hearts and minds. And that has to be done through the, to the youngsters, to the, to the children. And so we can't leave our children with a legacy of violence. We can't let social media teach them that extreme views are acceptable. We have to start figuring ways that, you know, we can communicate. You know, the world doesn't have to be this way. And the world isn't all good. It isn't all bad. There's a lot to be thankful for. There's a lot to be uh, afraid of, and we have to keep working. My name is Joel Calhoun. That's J-O-E-L. C-A-L-H-O-U-N, and my AKA is Droop the Barber. I baptized his daughter, he's like a brother to me. In Spanish they call it uh, compas. His uncle just passed away this past weekend on Saturday. Um, three guys were chasing a disabled kid, and he chose to help out. And uh, somebody hit him with a tire iron or something in the back of the head. And they drug him inside the house, and they were actually watching TV going about their day eating and drinking while he was dead on the couch. So, you know, last night they just had a candlelight visual for him. I've known him ever since I was a kid. Uh, and the gentleman, you know, he always looked out for his children. And, you know, he may have his ups and downs, but one thing he did do was take care of his kids and stood up for what he believes in. And, you know, he will be missed.